Hey guys, Epsi here, and there are some changes happening uh, to the Bungie.net website as well as to the Destiny game itself. Uh, first, they're going to be doing weekly updates every Thursday from now on, and since yesterday was Thursday, they had their first Thursday update. And the first thing they talked about was Iron Banners 2.0, which I am very, very excited about because they actually give us details about ac what's going to happen in the next Iron Banners. So Iron Banners 2.0 is going to be occurring sometimes at the end of next week, so November 21st to November 28th, or the end of the month. Um, but they're talking about many, many changes that they made to it, along with some funny pictures of Deej being a shiny golden god of death. Uh, but it says that power does matter. Uh, no, really, really, it guys, it matters now. Only level 20 characters or above will be able to lead a fire team. Anybody below level 20 will, be, will have to be uh, chaperoned by someone who is. Um, players within three levels can be competitive with each other, but if you're below that, you're more than likely going to be doing not enough damage. So if you're going against, if you're level 30 going against a level 4, they're going to do no damage to you. Your defense rating affects how you take damage, obviously, so wear your best armor um, and other people's out of your league will... It, it, it'll make you feel like you're a boss to them. Uh, your attack affects how much damage you inflict, obviously, so uh, pick your best, highest rating, most attack weapons, so your legendaries and exotics, and upgrade them a lot. Uh, lower level players wielding fully upgraded weapons should still be uh, considered a very crucible threat, so, credible threat. Um, so if you're a level 20 with a, an exotic weapon, it is no more powerful than a level 30 wielding an exotic weapon. Um, level does not matter, unless you're in P and I know you guys are going to cite um, uh, PvE here, and how they scale down damage. Yeah, they do scale it down in PvE, but they're not going to in Iron Banners. So it'll be true to what the weapons actually do. Claim victory to gain reputation. So, win games, get reputation. Lord Saladin now has five ranks to obtain instead of the three, um, and your previous Iron Banner rank will be preserved, so what you got last time will be preserved over here. There is also the Tempered Buff, which is a 12-hour boost to your reputation gains, which may be activated later in the week, and the later you activate it, the more powerful it gets, so the more reputation you'll get. So I would advise waiting until, like, the last day and then just to blow all of your efforts to get whatever piece of armor or something that you want. Uh, they're also um, in acquire exclusive Iron Banner rewards, so increase your rank to unlock better gear. Reforge weapons to reset progress with new perks, so you give Lord Salad in your weapon with a couple modes of light. I'm assuming it, that's what they said last time. And it'll reforge your Iron Banner's weapon into a new Iron Banner's weapon with new perks. So if you don't like the perks on yours, like if you got Tamir's Lash without explosive rounds, um, like I did, you can re-roll it to see if you get that. Uh, earn gauntlets and boots to move you closer to level 30. I'm not sure if this means that uh, only gauntlets and boots can be equipped to get you to level 30. They confirmed that Iron Banner's gear can get you to level 30 now, but you can only wear two pieces of it. But I don't know if it's exclusive to those gauntlets and boots, or if you can wear a chest piece and a helm as well. Uh, see Lord Saladin for details. Quitters never win. Reputation gains are only awarded only to winners. Uh, defeat grants a token to be redeemed for future wins. You may carry up to five iron medallions. Those are the tokens at any time. Partial reputation gains uh, by consuming the tokens are earned instantly upon victory. So if you have five of those medallions, you'll get partial victory um, reputation given to you immediately. And then you can carry five more if you keep losing, like I constantly did. Uh, strike while the iron is hot, your reputation will be reset at the conclusion of Iron Banners. That's right, so if you got all the way to level 5 or higher, uh, next time it comes around, you'll have to come back to it again. Um, Bunch is doing this because they like the competitive activity, and each event is a chance to regain your standing. Uh, sound good? Feel brave? Good, be ready. We promise we might get 24 hours advanced notice before resuming uh, <laughs> resuming of hostilities, maybe. So they're going to give us maybe a day, maybe, before this all starts again. Uh, please stay tuned for updates as we deploy downloads to your console. Alright, after they talk about Iron Banners in, in depth, please go to Bungie.net to read more on that. They have a bit more information on top that I didn't read, but they go into Fireteam chat, uh, at least in strikes, and how that's going to work is 
you go to your, you pull up your ghost and then press right on the d-pad to enable and then left on the d-pad to disable fire chat I might have gotten that backwards um, just look at the pictures to make sure that I'm right um, yeah so yeah that the fire team chat finally um, that's pretty exciting Finally, they go into detail, or little detail, very vague detail, about something super secret they're going to be adding to the game. They, uh, if anybody who has a collector's edition and got an expansion pass, or bought an expansion pass later, or might be thinking about maybe playing the Dark Below, so this probably includes everyone, will be invited to enjoy whatever they're planning. Uh, the details are still sec uh, secured in a crate. Next. Uh, early next week, information we're guarding will fly through the air with great greatness of ease. I'm not sure what this means. When it lands, we want there to be no doubt that this is for you, and you'll have a chance to enjoy it first. We want to make sure that you traverse the next leg of your journey in outrageous style. And then they show this ridiculous picture of a titan on a pike doing, like, tricks. I don't know what this means, but that's kind of exciting if we can do t uh, tricks on our pikes. Or, not pikes, but the sparrows. Um, but I'm not sure that's all that's going to be there. Um, so I'm pretty excited for what this is going to be. So that's going to be dropping next week. So Yeah, and then they go into detail about uh, some bug fixes and how they're dealing with that, and then the Guardian of the Week. But that's about it for the update itself. Next week is when everything's going to start kicking off, and they start adding content updates and the Iron Banners, and I'm really excited for the game, and I feel like it's going to get better very very quickly and then on December 9th we have the first DLC and I feel like that's gonna make the game even better so please if you liked in the video please like and subscribe and support me because I need your views in order to get paid to be like YouTube yeah you, you know the whole deal I've been Epsi and I will see you next time